Hello and welcome to another tutorial on CSM361 operational management with from BYU Idaho. Uh, we're going to be going through the activity duration days diagram. This is going to be idea of between the activities, the duration, and the precedence. So before we get started, we're going to go ahead and start down here. Let's start. First, we're going to do, do uh, two small circles, A and B, that represent A and B. Neither one of these has a president. So to start off with, this first circle is going to be activity A. For the presidents, another start. We're going to do another circle that represents B B represents two days production. Next, we're going to do C. For instance, this is going to be A, so we'll put C right next to it. This is going to be C. And that's four days production. And the precedence is A. Let's see. We're going to go to D next. And D next presidents is B. So let's come down here. Put another circle. This is going to be D. And D represents four days. And D's precedence is B. Now here comes the tricky part. E precedence is also B. So let's go ahead and put E right in the middle here. This is E. And E is nine days and his preference is B. Okay, we've got E taken care of. F is going to take 12 days and it takes care of C and D. C and D, so let's just go ahead and put F in here. And F requires 12 days. And F's predecessor is C. And D. So E and F, E and F, we've got G. And G subordinates is D and E. So we're going to put G. Let's put it right here. G 
Do you represent eleven days? C and D, excuse me, D, D and E. Now the arrangement is where we put the circle, it's up to your taste and what's easier for you. This isn't easy for me, but I'm just going by down the, to, the, to the chart. H is our last one with three days, F and G. So I'm just gonna put an H out here. Three days. And we're going to tie F and G together. Now that we've got all these together, we have to figure out which one of these is going to be the most days to complete the transaction. So we know A, C, F, and H equals A, C, F, and H equals, let's add these up, four and four is eight, plus 12 is 20, three is 23. But the highest in this whole is B and E, G and H. Twenty five is the answer. That's what we're looking for. Like I mentioned, all these circles and the way they go on the line. When you do this, you can make it a whole lot simpler. By bringing the B, E, G and H all across the bottom. And we're just comparing the first one to the second one but we have to reach 25 is the answer. So I hope that will, anyway, if the, if the question asks, what's the most amount of time necessary for the entire process, 25 is the answer what we're looking for. So with that said, this is all for this problem. 
I hope this will give you a better idea of how to put the numbers and the activities in together from a chart with the durations and the presence and how it works. So with that said, I'm going to stop the video, replay it for myself, see if I get it. But I think it's pretty on point.